Everyone, open your page number ninety-six. Ready, beta? Six class. Beta, ask to your class teacher about Sorry, about this matter. Matter is in fifth A. Okay, beta. Fifth class, fifth standard, ready. Where are others? Nobody replies. Yes. Okay. So in our yesterday's lecture, we have complete completed till the topic the Security Council. So firstly, we will revise the General Assembly and Security Council. Then we will start the next topic. So you learnt about the General Assembly. So now tell me. how the general assembly work how the general assembly work write in chat box write in chat box beta and one thing more everyone write here 193 members in general assembly there are also 193 members Okay, because the member of United Nations also are the member of 
General Assembly. All the member of United Nations are the member of General Assembly. So write here 193. Do the correction in your textbook. Given the answer, like a parliament, did the correction? Okay, so there are 193 members in General Assembly. All the members of the United Nations are the member of the General Assembly. How the General Assembly? choose their president how the general assembly choose their president among themselves through election okay and they are meeting held once in a year but they can also call the special meeting whenever required okay now security council how many members are in security council how many members are in security council no better Shreya. How many members? I am asking about the members. Yes, 15 members. There are 15 members in Security Council. Among them, how many are permanent members? How many countries are permanent members in Security Council? Five. Okay. Other 10, other 10 are elected by through, other are, other 10 are elected by through which majority, No veto, not a veto power. Other 10 are elected for 2 years by a two-third majority of the General Assembly. Okay? Security Council has 15 members. Among them, 5 are permanent. 10 are elected for 2 years. As a temporary member, by two-third majority of the General Assembly, okay? Now name the country, those are permanent country, those are permanent member in Security Council. USA, Russia, China, France and Britain. Okay. What is veto power? What is veto power? What 
What is veto power? What is veto power? Check the decisions of others. Yes. Veto power which allow them to say no and check the decision of others. Okay, now what is the function of the security council? Function means work. What is the function or work of the security council? Okay. Okay, Dharam, Shreya, Hita, Hetvi, okay, maintain peace in the world. The main function of the Security Council is to maintain peace in the world and to see the, that there are no wars, okay? Now we will read about the Economic and Social Council, okay? Economic and Social Council. Now I am giving the name, who will read? Okay, Shreya, you start reading. Okay. Economic and Social Council. It tries to solve the economic and social problems and gives help to the poor countries. It also helps the people during natural calamities such as earthquakes, floods, drought, etc. by sending funds clothes and medicine. The okay. Okay, but let me explain the economic and social council. So, as you know, you have also learnt about the economic and social council in your chapter number 14 that it look after on the issues of the medicine, education, etc. So, let's see how it works. It try to solve the economic and social problems and give help to the poor country. So it is clear. It solves the economic and social problem. Economics means problems related to money. Okay. Economics, it is called the arrangement of the money for run many other important things in the countries and the social problems related to our society, okay, and give help to the poor countries. And it also give help to the poor countries, those are not able to provide basic needs and other needs to their people. So the economic and social council collect the fund and other uh, things and try to help the poor countries. It also helps the people during natural calamities. Now what is called calamities? That is such as earthquakes, floods, drought, etc. Earthquakes and flood in which and the drought. Drought means dry. Sukha parjana when rain did not occur for a man uh, for a long time and the scarcity occurred any place of water that is called drought earthquake you know and the flood means jab barish mein sabhi jagah itni barish hoti hai ki har jagah pani bhar jata hai that is called flood 
by sending funds, clothes and medicines. Now, when natural calamities come, the so Economic and Social Council has that area, has that country, has those people through giving them funds. Funds means some amount of money for providing them their basic needs. And sometimes they also provide them cloths, medicines, food, even uh, try to provide them shelter, giving the funds. Okay. Have you any doubt in this topic, Vita? No, ma'am, no doubt. Ma'am, can I read my turn is not count? Okay, start the trusteeship council. <laughs> the trusteeship council, it was set up to look after the trust territory. The trust territory are those regions which are where co co colonies, colonies under the foreign rules. It operates. Beta, it is foreign. Foreign rule. Eight operations have been sub suspended on 1st November, November 1994, a month after the independence of Palol, the last remaining territory. Okay, Beta, listen. Uh, give me a picture of. Anyone, you can show me your textbook, beta. I have a old book, that's why the rest other lines are not written in my book. Show me your book, beta, and I will explain what are written there. Okay, anyone? Okay, I'm going to read. Beta, Shanvi, you show me other than beta, baki ke bachche close karlo, kyunki screen choti aa rahi hai, okay? Only Shanvi. Sanvi will show me. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Okay, here is. It. it was set up to look after the trust charity. What's what? Trust charities, I told you, those countries, which time per? No, no, no. Foreign countries ke under me. Ma'am, please, new thank you all. Okay, it was TK Sanvi beta when I screenshot Lily and I am reading. Okay, it was a setup to look after the trust territories. Trust territories are those reasons which are, yeah, were, are or were colonies under the foreign rule. Now, what is the meaning of colonies? Colonies means when a weak country is under a powerful country known as colonies. Okay. So, jo country kisi foreign, yani ki dusri powerful country ke under me hai, Unke liye help karna. Its operation have been suspended on 1 November 1994. Ab dekho beta, 11. Us time for when the United Nations formed and the trusteeship council has been found. There were 11 countries, 11 trust territories, jo ki kisi foreign rule ke under me thi. But ab wo sab independent bana di gayi hai. So, the trusteeship council's operation have been suspended on 1 November 1994. 1994, 1 November 1994 ko trusteeship council ka work complete ho gaya. Ab uske paas kaam nahi hai. It means, ab koi bhi country aisi nahi hai, jo kisi bhi foreign country ke under mein hai. Yani ki kisi bhi country, koi dousri country unke upar rule kar rahi hai. To jab aisa hai hi nahi, so, our trusteeship ka kaam bhi complete ho gaya. Okay? Now, a month after the independence of Palu, the last remaining territory. Okay? Palu was the last remaining territory, jo ki a 1 November 1994 ko, kya hua tha? Independent hua tha. Aur uske saath hi trusteeship council ka work pura ho gaya. 
क्लियर बेटा हैविंग एनी डाउट यहां पर जो ट्रस्ट कंट्रीज हैं वो उन कंट्रीज के लिए यूज किया गया है जो किसी कंट्री के अंडर में थी ओके okay? और उन कंट्रीज को इंडिपेंडेंट करना That was the work of trusteeship council, and in one November 1994, Palu was the last remaining country was became independent, and after that, the work of trusteeship council has been suspended. Okay. Now the International Court of Justice. Parth, you start reading. Yes, ma'am. This court uh, settles disputes between different countries. The International Court of Justice is located at the huge Netherlands. But it is not huge. It's a Hague. Bolte hai. Hague. 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 Netherlands. Netherlands. Do you know? Also read that. Do you know? Okay, ma'am. The Netherlands is called the whole land. Okay. Now let me explain. The International Court of Justice, as you know, the International Court of Justice works like as a world parliament. So here is written that this. Disputes between different countries, as I have explained you earlier, that it is a court, world court, where the disputes between two countries has been settled down. The International Court of Justice is located at the Hague of Netherlands. Netherlands is the name of a country, and Hague is the name of city in Netherlands. Okay, so in the Hague, Netherlands, uh, in the Hague, uh, at the Hague in Netherlands, the World Court is located. You can see the World Court in Chapter Number Fourteen. You can see Page Number Ninety One. International Court of Justice in Hague. This is a building of the International Court. Okay. On Page Number Ninety One, Chapter Number Fourteen. So we have completed the topic. till the international court of justice now the last organ which is written here the secretariat council as you know the secretariat council the secretariat organ is work like as a executive branch okay now i'm giving the name who will read this aksh aksh kaka sanya you start reading yes ma एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन प्रोग्राम Program and प्रोग्राम एंड पॉलिसी सिक्योरिटी सेक्रेटरी जनरल जनरल इज द हेड ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी सेक्रेटरीट सेक्रेटरीट ही इज द स्पोकर स्पीक पर्सन ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन The security council. The security council nominate him. Nominate him in the general assembly appoints him for five year. He can also be a re-elected. Re-elected. Anthony Goodrich. Anthony Goodrich. 
is the president servant general and belongs to progress belong to which country beta portugal okay beta show me your textbook belong to portugal it is belong to portugal antino gutres belong to portugal okay okay beta aksh okay aksh now of the video okay now the secretariat as you know all the members and the president of general assembly and the temporary member of the security council and the secretary general of the secretariat elected for a limited time period so time to time they have they have changed okay that's why our book is written your book is new but my book is old that's why here is not written antino gutres but at present time antino gutres who belongs to portugal the country name is portugal and the person name is antino gutres he is the general secretary general of the secretariat as you know gen a secretary general is the head of the secretariat so you know it is the executive branch it implements un programs and policies executive branch means a group of people where all the programs of united nation comes into the work implementation means comes into the work okay on paper jo kuch bhi likha hua hai us likhe hue ko work mein lana physically work mein lana it's work of the secretariat or the organ of the secretariat and the secretary general is the head of secretariat now secretary general ko kaise banaya jata hai the secretariat mein jo secretary general jo head hai use kaise choose kiya jata hai it is nominated by the security council and the general assembly okay security council or general assembly dono milkar सेक्रेटरी जनरल को नॉमिनेट करते हैं फॉर फाइव इयर्स इट मीन सेक्रेटरी जनरल का वर्क फाइव इयर्स का है ही कैन वर्क ऑन इट्स प्लेस फॉर अ फाइव इयर एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज ही कैन री इलेक्टेड यानी कि वो दोबारा से नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर के लिए भी इलेक्ट हो सकता है ओके लाइक एज अवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ओके इन इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर कैन री इलेक्टेड सेम एज the security council and the general assembly nominate the secretary general for a five years and the secretary general is also reelected suppose antino gutres abhi secretary general hain the secretariat ke jab unke five years complete ho jayenge to ho sakta hai wapas se secretary uh, the security council or general assembly unhi ko vote de de aur wo wapas reelect ho jaye okay now antino gutres belongs to the portugal so we have completed the explanation of all the organs tomorrow we will read about the agencies agencies of the united nation ab united nation is a so big organization that's why it is not possible for only six organ to perform all the work okay that's why united nation also have other agencies those help to perform or achieve their goals so we will read about the agencies of the united nation in our tomorrow lecture your today's homework is do day 2 have you any doubt in this beta in today's lecture have you any doubt tomorrow you have to read all the organs i will ask the question like as today जैसे मैंने आज आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा पहले ही रिविजन किया हमने सेम एज आई विल आस्क ऑल द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सेक्रेटरी द इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल काउंसिल ट्रस्टीशिप एंड इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ 
जस्टिस ओके यू हैव टू लर्न नाउ लिसन जनरल असेंबली द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ जनरल असेंबली इज इलेक्टेड फॉर अ वन ईयर कैन यू फाइंड आउट द नेम ऑफ द प्रेजेंट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ जनरल असेंबली दिस इज योर ऑल्सो होमवर्क I am giving you him. He is the person belongs from the Maldives, and the first person of Maldives who became who became the president of General Assembly of UN. You have to just find out the name. Okay? I have given the hint. He belongs to Maldives country. Yes. Now you can leave, and you have to. Beta, you have to find out the name of. the present name present president of the general assembly okay us person ka name aapko find out karna hai his country is maldives maine aapko ek hint diya the general the present general the present president of the general assembly is belongs to the maldives you have to find out the name okay okay now you can leave beta यस अब्दुल्ला शाहिद धर्म बरासा करेक्ट आंसर अब्दुल्ला शाहिद अब्दुल्ला शाहिद इज द करेंट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द जनरल असेंबली ओके एंड ही इज बिलोंग फ्रॉम द मालदीव एंड द फर्स्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एज अ प्रेसिडेंट इन यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रॉम द मालदीव ओके ओके एवरीवन Now you can leave. Beta F C C. Up close होने वाली है. Now you can leave. Okay, take care and ready for the next lecture.